A uh, bit of an odd one for you this one. Uh, in this Red Gaming Tech video, we're going to be talking about Diablo 3. Apparently, there's rumors that it's running on console, and by rumors, it actually seems it's true. Basically, a uh, Blizzard executive, uh, Rob Pardo, I uh, hope that's pronounced right, explained that the team were testing to see how the game performed on unspecified consoles, um, which would turn and lead to official ports if it went well enough. Uh, he basically said that we are still kind of exploring it and we've got builds up and running. We're hoping we can get far enough along where we can make it an official product, but we're not quite ready to release stuff about it. But it's looking pretty cool. So uh, he basically went on to say that the game's lead designer, who was Jay Wilson, chimed in to add that while the option of court consoles is still being explored, the team was currently hard at work expanding on the game, and the whole team is essentially working on the next big Diablo 3. A lot of stuff we'll show you next time, uh, some point next year, um, basically is what it comes down to. There's not the first time actually we've heard about rumors on Diablo on consoles, but originally it was quashed and pretty much we heard nothing about it and people were like, oh, it's probably not gonna happen. But now, well, it's, as you guys may be aware, uh, Diablo 3 is one, if not quickly became, the fastest selling PC game of all time. Um, currently has about 10 million players at its peak. But it's kind of falling from grace at the moment, to say the least. Uh, there's a few reasons behind this. Um, I'm not going to go into all of them, as those of you who are regular diehard, or even you've played Diablo 3, well, no, but just in case you're not, let's say, for example, you're a PC, uh, not a PC gamer. Basically, there's a few issues with it, um, mostly to do with the way the item and gearing's working. And I'm not a particularly massive uh, Diablo 3 fan. Uh, indeed, I haven't actually bought it. I've got the trial account. But I have a few friends who have, and they've all pretty much said the same thing, which is basically the game becomes a gear grind fest towards the end and that's a really sad thing i was actually really looking forward to uh die before i have no idea why i could go keep going to say guild wars it must be on my brain or something anyway i'll, I'll try to um, purge it for the next few minutes so yeah so as i was saying because of this it's worth noting that there's also apparently a diablo 3 expansion that's in the works if you guys google that i'm not going to provide links or anything there's absolutely no information other than rumors at this particular moment might i add so uh actually just because i'm a really nice person i just did a bit of googling for you and basically on the 8th of november which is about a month ago now in case you're not aware Basically, an investor call last night, I'm just reading the article on Eurogamer, uh, Blizzard boss Mike Morhaime revealed an expansion to 10 million selling blah blah blah. He stopped short of saying when it is released. So it's not really a surprise, to be honest with you, that it's going to be an expansion on the works. I don't really think any of us kind of expected him just to say, hey, you know what, there's the game, that's it. That's the end of it. Particularly as it's one of those titles that obviously there is no uh, monthly fee, say, with World of Warcraft. So obviously they want to get more cash out of the players, and I have no doubt that many players want more cool stuff as well. Obviously, we've got the 1.05 patch as well. Anyway, so this is just a quickie. Uh, I'm not quite sure how the title would work on the consoles. It immediately came to mind, at least that you know the obvious one it would come out on is xbox 360 slash ps3 ps3 i could kind of expect more uh, for the simple fact that they have built-in hard drive therefore it's a lot easier to put the content on however uh, a little birdie in my noggin also said hey you know what it could also be on next generation consoles and uh, that could be one of the reasons they're not willing to reveal it. So, for example, the PS4 slash Xbox 720. And the other possibility, of course, would be the Wii U. And um, one of the reasons for, say, the Wii U would be the touchscreen. You guys can imagine how that whole thing would work. And it would kind of make sense. But let's just be honest. It actually, yeah, it would kind of be cool with the inventory, to be fair. But anyway, um, 
as I said, that's pure idle speculation and nothing has been confirmed yet. So, yeah. Anyway, let me know how you guys feel that that's going to go, uh, especially with the real money. That will be very interesting. Uh, as you guys might know with the real money auction house where you can actually buy pieces of gear for example for your character which means that say you have an alt you can quickly level or should I say gear that alt up um, it's fairly an interesting concept but it basically means you have to spend real cash so for example if you're you know I have a couple of hundred bucks spare you're able to buy a piece of gear uh, depending obviously what that person's selling it for some of the prices go fairly high amounts i've heard uh you know 60 70 80 dollars to you know a lot more than that but anyway that's just a small little point so hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video found it a bit useful and as usual if you guys would like to leave comments that would be swell and yes i did use that word so take care of yourselves bye for now and obviously rate and comment would be awesome bye